Welcome back everyone to the Mojave Rock. And uh, this time... Yeah, there were... This guy, this guy was weird. See, I thought that like he was actually going to be able to move over the impassable terrain. But anyway, we're, we're being attacked by Saddam Hussein's uh, NCR forces. And uh, we got to hold on for the greatness of the USA, of course. Uh, they... They clearly just have, um, they have ma weapons of mass destruction and uh, they must be dealt with. So, give me some extra division attack, that's, that's pretty good. We do have a plus 5% bonus, uh, thanks to the greatness of our preparations. And so that's going to be, it's going to be pretty sad for them. And as you can see, that means that they can't attack us because we are just so strong. And I can just, like, pop them. Super hard. There we are. There we go. So now I can try the encirclement moment. Oh my god, look at look at me, Reddit. I made an encirclement. Yes, it's a Reddit encirclement joke. So this means that now we can basically move north and clean up this area while we destroy the free divisions holding the south with my PA a PA is ridiculously OP in uh, at least this version of old world blues damn okay so we got the Hoover Dam epic. What? Oh, he's in uh, he's in New Vegas territory. He's got military access there. I see what's going on. So I took over everything that's that's there to take over up here. That's kind of the annoying thing about Old World Blues. It just really, really loves. Um, Old World Blues really, really loves these tiny, tiny provinces that you cannot at all differentiate from, from the background. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying, NGO. You know, with the extra stats, maybe now Veronica is actually better than uh, Edgar Hardin. So, time to switch. Switch Roni. Epic Roni. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the war is going to be won when I take over Baker. Because... 500 units of support equipment. Thank you. Because... They don't have enough... Uh, they don't have enough VPs up here. So, the plan's pretty simple. We go down and take Nipton. this and uh, uh, as you can see they've got much lower um, much lower reinforcement chance because of the operation sunburst preparation and so that makes it a lot easier for us to fuck them up and uh, yeah and that means that we can trap them in the cottonwood cove And now this is an opportunity to encircle everything. Oh wow, in fact, in fact that was over rather quickly. So, this brings us to the victory in Operation Sunburst. Scripted event, of course. Today is a glorious day for the Brotherhood of Steel. Elder Elijah reveling in his tactical prowess and his stunning defense of the Mojave chapter against the tyrannical New California Republic. We've managed to push the Republic's soldiers to the Mojave outpost. Although the question remains whether we should continue the advance down the Long 15, which is this little canal over here. Canal? Canyon. Uh, into California. If we were to try to assert dominance over this land, it's likely that we would face a more coordinated response in turn. So either this is our land, and we take uh, we take everything down here, 
but the new California Republic gains an annex war goal against the Mojave chapter and gets the event Oliver's Folly. We don't want that, so let's not push this too far. They still get Oliver's Folly, but they don't get a war goal on us. And we let them, of course, achievement unlock because we took the dam. We took the dam. And so now we're in a position to abuse the dam, of course. Now, we're going to leave the New California Republic to do whatever they're doing. Uh, you know, taking down uh, the Divide and moving down to the Baja. Moving down to the Baja. And now, once we're done with the Paladins of the Mojave, we can do... We can do the operation, or sorry, the victory at Sunburst, which is going to lead down to the rest of the focus tree. Now, what's happening here? The fall of Vault City. Huh, bitter fighting over Vault City is starting to seize the new Reno, starting to clean up. Oh, new Reno is invading. Oh, they've just, they've just taken it. They just, like, took it. All right. Interesting, and they're the Mordinos, which means that they could get the, the Reno Enclave. I'm not sure if this is going to... I'm not sure if this is going to actually end up happening, but oh well. So, we have the Old World Blues. Oh no, that's just the, that's just the generic Old World Blues. Uh, now, I'm saying the generic Old World Blues because there's also... Yeah, this also gives us 10% division attack, but only for a year. Nice. You know, so so great. Uh, so, this brings us to the victory at Sunburst and the Old World Blues, because Elijah's true goals lie further beyond the whole, um, you know, take down the NCR thing and discover old tech. He wants the Hoover Dam, of course, because fucking everybody wants the Hoover Dam, but he also wants to find as much shit as possible. Now, first order of business is going to be the Helios, uh, so that when more wars happen, for example with New Vegas, because very, very soon we're going to be at war with them, then... Uh, oh, wait, he's he's been released. That's based. Because th this guy had been Wolf Rand. Rand Ward? Okay. Uh, okay, brother. Okay, Wolf. Uh, okay, Turk. Uh, he was captured, apparently. So now I can send him over to the Vault Free to get me some operations. I survey the Repcon headquarters. In fact, I can also I can also start to upgrade my agency. That's that's quite nice. Huh? Agency upgrades in this don't actually take up civilian factories. They just take up bottle caps. That's very good because I got some stonks, and so I'm pretty rich with the bottle caps. That's great. Basically, yeah, I can restore the Hoover Dam through later focuses. I can uh, get the Hoover Dam to be my capital, which is quite based. And I can also help out the various factions, the various minor factions that helped me defeat the NCR. So the one of them are the Star Chasers. Now, if you've played... Um, if you've played uh, New Vegas, Fallout New Vegas, you definitely know a lot more about these guys than I do. I did not play Fallout New Vegas, and so I'm not exactly the greatest uh, in the greatest position to, you know, talk about this stuff. But yeah, basically, there, there's there's the Star Chasers that want to go to space, essentially, uh, and they're trying to restore rocketry technology, which is of course useful to us. Uh, and that gives us some cores somewhere. We can hunt the stars, which are the Sunset Star Sparilla caps or whatever. And that's uh, that's another thing. And then there's the, the Utobata Black Mountain Mutant State, uh, which the focus description for that is really, really hilarious because the Black Mountain Trap, surprisingly keeping Utobata around and allowing them to continue their broadcast is very useful. It effectively acts, acts as a lure, bringing super mutants out of hiding and into our territory. From there, allowing us to gun them down and keep their numbers low. So we do a bit of a hundred flowers campaign, but for mutants, pretty based, pretty epic. I like it. The art of haggling. What is that? Has any nation nation make a purchase of caps? Oh wow, incredible! Fucking achievements, man. Uh, so that's the, those three things, and that gives us cores on basically all the territory that we've acquired so far. That's quite great, quite great indeed. 
and um, took a sip of tea. Sorry. And then it gives us a 25% permanent local reduction in coring costs. That's not the most important thing ever. Um, because we get the cores for free. Yay! Then Elijah's ambition brings us down to the more fun part of the focus tree, which is essentially going around hunting for all the crazy shit, really. Um, and it's... I like it. I like it. This is gonna be the the main part now. Once it gets to that moment, um, be prepared that there's gonna be a lot of a lot of TNO like gameplay, a lot of reading events essentially. Of course, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna establish our capital at the Hoover Dam because the other two options are Hidden Valley and uh, the Helios Citadel instead of instead of the dam. But of course, we want the dam. I mean, it's it's much much more based. I don't know. Um, it also brings an additional turbine online, uh, increasing power output. The turbine is the mechanics for the Hoover Dam. Look at how great this is. Look at how great this is. Give me cryptology. But yeah, there, there's, there's a lot of oh, border skirmishes at the dam. It seems that after our recent victory at Helios, our paladins may have gotten a bit overzealous. As Elijah made their way to the dam, of uh, which the NCR denied them access to so foolishly, they learned that there was a skirmish there between the Brotherhood and the Eastern Slaver Horde, known as Kaiser's Legion. Our paladins seem to have no experience fighting such strange foes. Their strategy mixing elements of tribal, wastelander, and ancient tactics and terrifying faction. Seems we have some training to do if we are to stand up to such threats. So this gives us the Legion tactical inexperience. Oh wow, minus 30% attack bonus against Kaiser's Legion, minus 30% defense bonus, ooh. We can improve our tactics, tactics against the Legion through training, done through a decision unlocked by the focus, preparing against the Legion, minus 400 manpower, minus 10% force. Haha, -ha. I see how the game is trying to throw uh, a curveball against us, so it's this. Okay, when it comes to fighting the Legion, if we're not prepared against them, they're likely to overwhelm us completely. <laughs> idiots, idiots, all of them! These paladins can't even fight four classical age soldiers! They have a 2,000 year technological and tactical advantage over them! This shouldn't be happening. Everyone needs to- okay, so uh, I like how these focuses are written from the first person, because it's like Elijah going insane. Yes, I like this. Give me more resources. Give me more industrial capacity. Give me more... Ooh, give me more breakthrough. More breakthrough, more breakthrough. So yeah, that's uh, that's this part of the focus tree, I suppose. And also, we send an expedition out to the Cyphers of the West, a mythical group of tech worshippers in Colorado. Based! The Cyphers. Nice. Oh, it's, it's just the ad mech. It's literally just the Admic. Okay, I see. So, yeah, we send out people to them. So, all right, all right, I see. And try to find out their secrets or something. We get power armor. We get bonuses. And then here we, we go down and we kill New Vegas. But that's going to be all for a bit later, of course. For now, we have to focus on our own internal problemos. The Repcon headquarters, located in Vault 3, is no doubt full of interesting tech and salvage. The possibilities are endless, and might lead to breakthroughs in our own flight research. We must first get in. The fiends have a well-known enthusiasm for chems, which we can exploit by pretending we'll solve them some. Instead, we'll use this access to their territory as a way to reach our destination. Our scouts have noted several old facilities in the area that could be ripe for scavenging. Our operative will take a small team, raid the facility, and return with what they find. 
Our agents will escape by crossing the border at night at a remote location. Local guides are standing by to assist in navigating the treacherous area. As our operatives explored Repcon headquarters, they were careful to extract any information they could find from the building's materials. Most of it was junk, but not all. Some of the company's records revealed the decrepit Verdibird testing ground far to the north in Area 6. This expedition would require serious time and resources. But think of the potential. So this unlocks an operation in Area 6 against the Sky Reavers to investigate a possible Verdibird graveyard. So that's up here. So this is like the the little like spy mini game, I suppose that were <laughs> that were given by the greatness of the old world blues developers. Anyway, uh, we are in a pretty good spot, I think, and uh, I'm gonna gonna end my recording for now, right here. Uh, we almost have uh, the cores on the uh, on the seekers. And then we can get our post sunburst Helios research and come down. And you know, this is gonna be like all well, I'm, I'm not sure if it's gonna be all off screen, but like I'm gonna try to keep it off screen because it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that interesting. But then after that, there's gonna be a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of interesting stuff, a shitload of interesting stuff. So, yeah, hopefully it's gonna be it's gonna be good. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.